What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can simply make your smart lights turn on with the sunset and turn off with the sunrise. This is a lot easier than people think. All you have to do actually is go onto the app store and you're going to go here. I'm going to search for an app called IFTT and you're going to download this one. Okay, so we're going to download it. I already have it downloaded, but if you don't, just download it. And let me show you how this works. So basically, um, what this app is, is that it can connect multiple platforms to each other. So the problem with smart lights is that a lot of them don't have a setting where you can turn it on with sunset and turn it off with sunrise. But this app lets you enable that feature in various lights. So you have Chinese branded ones, American ones, doesn't matter. So click continue. And then now you're going to want to sign up with an account. It is free. So whatever you want to use your Apple ID or Facebook, whatever. And I'll be back in just a second with my credentials. Okay, so once you've created an account, all you want to do is create an applet. So basically how this works actually is you get zero out of three free, which is fine. We only need two. So we're going to need one to trigger that when it becomes sunset in your area, your lights will turn on. And one that sunrise will turn off or whenever you want, you can turn it off. But this is the apple I'm going to create. So you're going to hit if this and hit weather underground. If it doesn't show up, just search for it over here. Now, what you want to do is hit sunset first. And you're going to want to type in your home address here. Don't worry, it doesn't go anywhere crazy. This is a trusted company. So just type in your home address. I'm going to type that in and just give me one second. Okay, once you have your home address in, all you're going to want to do is hit create trigger than that so here comes the fun part so you're going to search for your lights for example if you have some kind of smart light thing you bought off amazon you're going to search for that i'm going to use my nano leaf panels so we're going to search nano leaf and you can do a bunch of things you can activate a certain scene or you can just turn it on which i'm going to do here so now it's going to ask you to connect to your account so basically get your nano leaf login ready and you're going to put it in here Gonna take you and you're gonna log in i'll be back in one second once you have successfully logged in it's gonna ask you what it will be allowed to do which is gonna hit allow and then now it's going to do either all nano leaf panels or for me i only have one set of light panels so i'm just gonna hit light panels and done and create action so basically what this app says is that it whenever sunset happens in my area then these lights will turn on hit continue Just give it a second to load here. And you can name it whenever you want, and you can even receive notifications when this is active. Um, if you don't want extra notifications, just hit finish. And now it's connected. So if you ever by any chance want this disconnected, or say you're going on a trip and you just don't really want it, you can just disconnect it right here with one tap, which makes it super simple. Or as course as we want it, you want to keep it connected. Um, right, it's going to ask for everything. So basically within 15 minutes of sunset, either before or after, somewhere in between, it's going to go. This isn't my exact address, it's some random address I typed in for security reasons, of course. So don't try doing anything. But yeah, hit save. Do you want to use the phone location? Yes, I do. And there you go. Now let's set up the sunrise part. So to set up the sunrise part, you're going to go back to create. If this, you're going to add, go back to weather underground, and you're going to go to sunrise. Again, you're going to type in your location. Give me one second. Once you've typed in your location, you're going to hit create trigger. That. So basically, once again, you're going to search for whatever your light is. In my case, I have nano leaves. Go to nano leaf. I'm going to hit turn off nano leaf smart light. It's going to be all nano leaf panels or the ones I checked, whatever it is. It could always be different. For example, if I linked like uh, Smart Life or Philips Hue, you just go down, select which light. Or if you want all your lights to do that, you can do that as well. Create action. Continue. And then finish. And bingo. You have both your applets here. By any chance you ever want to disconnect them, then you can do that here. And that's basically it. I guarantee that this can work. I've had this run thousands of times and it works perfectly fine. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.